Hello and welcome to anubavtrainings.com. In this series of videos, we are learning basics of SAP HANA Cloud development on BTP with Cloud Application Programming Model. By far in this series, I showed you how to create a SQL script calculation view and also how to create a table function using SQL script in HANA Cloud using Business Application Studio. In today's session, we are going to learn how to debug your table functions directly on HANA tools. Remember that in Access Classic world, it's not possible to debug a table function, but now in the new world of HANA Cloud, it is do possible to debug the table function as well. So let's go back and see this in action. So in the last class, we have already created a table function. I will go to the database explorer and show you the table function which we have created. So if I go to the functions into my system, you can find here a get vendor function. Now I would like to debug this function. We can right click, choose open for debugging. It will open my table function for debugging and I can set up a breakpoint. You can choose the debugging type. If you are debugging from an external session, you can also give the different details or a different user ID. But right now we want to debug here itself on SQL console. We click on OK. And now I can set up my breakpoint, for example, line 16. You can see all the list of breakpoints here on the right side. It's time to start the debugging for which I need to right click and generate the call statement. So let's generate the select statement, which will trigger this function. And we start the trigger. And voila, you can see it has hit my breakpoint over here. You can see the debugging shortcuts like step in, step over, step out, and so on. So now what I can do is I can just press F10. It will go to the next step and I will have my variables visible over here. So if I've had more variables, I could have checked them also very easily. You can also uh, create intermediate variables and return them out. Let me go and make some change to my, my function. So I'll go to my table function now back to Business Application Studio. And I will make a slight change out there to this. So we will create an intermediate variable. LT result. And then I will return LT result. I'll make a small change and now we will redeploy and re debug again. Okay, I have to also put select query on this LT return. So let me put a select query. Yes, so we'll put here the vendor ID, the vendor name, vendor code, city, country, and email address. So this is all what we put based on LT result. Let's redeploy our HDB procedure. Done. And now it's time to start the debugging again. So we open it for debugging again. And this time we should see, okay, it's not refreshing. Let me refresh here. Yes, and let's open again for debugging. It's not updating the code, just close everything. Yes, I'll stop the debugging permanently. Maybe I will also refresh my HANA Database Explorer tool so that latest code can be made visible to us. It's loading up all the containers and we go back to the functions to see our get vendors function and yes my code is updated and i will set up a breakpoint here and let's again begin the debugging let's execute and that should set up the breakpoint for us there you go you can now see on the left hand side all the local variables like lt result it has got nine records I can also right click uh, and click on display preview. I can also save this data 
into Excel file. So if I see, you can see this is the data. We do have it, which the which this function is going to return. So you can easily debug now HANA SQL procedures as well as functions into the system. For complete training on SAP Business Application Studio with HANA Native Development on Cloud Platform with Cloud Application Programming Model, you can join our course on anubautrainings.com. We hope you like this video. Thank you for subscribing to the channel and we'll see you in the next episode.